Hello and welcome to program 58 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, as always, please go to markplex.com and join the email list and then I'll let you know when I release uh, new tutorials or programs. So program 58 is actually the combination of uh, a few things that uh, we've done at Markplex. Uh, in other words, programs that are focused on trying to get a sense of the direction of the market. Back in uh, program three, we created a line break program that was applicable to a normal bar chart and actually drew lines on the normal bars. And then um, in program 49, we created a uh, methodology that tried to overlay a point and figure type uh, chart over a normal bar chart. Then more recently in program 52, I created uh, a uh, mark, what I termed a markplex Renko, so it's very similar to uh, Renko technology. And then in program 34, we had what I call the markplex block um, analysis. Well, what program 58 is, is I've encapsulated the methodologies behind those four programs and created four functions. And essentially what the functions do is return one when we're in a period such as we can see here, where we've basically got green uplines and return minus one when we've got a uh, what could potentially be a downward movement, or at least the program thinks that uh, there is a downward movement movement in price or a downward trend. So what these uh, what these uh, functions do not do is draw um, lines or or boxes or, or anything like that. But what they do do is just return one or minus one. This should mean that you can use them in your own uh, show me studies, indicators and strategies, perhaps maybe as filters by just applying the functions. All of these are unprotected, incidentally, so you can uh, look at them and uh, understand the programming techniques included. But what I've done in program 58 is also included a show me study. OK, so I just wanted to explain briefly the program and how we actually call the functions. And uh, as you can see, some of them take multiple pieces of information. Some of them just take one piece of information. And probably the easiest thing is if you just go to markplex.com and I've explained the inputs there. So for example, point and figure, the first input is the box size. The second one is reverse. In other words, how many boxes or crosses we need to get to, to do a reverse. And then the final one, high, low. High, uh, if high low is set to true, then we're using the high low method. If it's set to false, then we're using the close method. Three line break is the number of lines to break, the uh, one input there. Uh, Markplex Renko has actually got four pieces of input. The first one determines whether we have a fixed box or a variable box. If it's true, we have a fixed box. If it's false, we have a variable box. The next one is a definition of the variable box size. So this could be a function defining the variable box size. In this particular example, I'm using average to range 14. The next one is the fixed Renko box size. And uh, the final one is high-low method. So that would determine whether we're looking for a um, high-low method that is set to true when we're using the high-low and it's set to false if we're using the close method. And then finally, markplex bot block. And uh, this uses a multiple within the program of the average true range. And so the input there determines how what the multiple of that uh, average true range is used to define the block size in the program. So anyway, I hope you uh, you might find this program useful, and uh, it is uh, it does work. It is compatible with multi charts, that is the uh, the non .NET edition as well as TradeStation.